Hi everyone, it's Sean Morey. We're here at the end of our journey. Uh, we've just spent five amazing days here in the north uh, with our northern dog transfer in collaboration with the Ontario SPCA. We've worked with two great communities, both uh, Whitefish Bay as well as Grassy Narrows. Uh, it was an amazing time. I'm excited for you to check it out and I hope you enjoy. I'm Judy Cannon, I'm with the Ontario SBCA and I'm the Director of Partnership and Community Outreach. We're up here today at Whitefish Bay First Nations um, and we've been here for several days in the community working collaboratively uh, side by side with leadership and animal welfare advocates. We've been up to a lot of amazing things here. So um, there has been some community um, dogs that have been loved on by many families, but at this point there's just too many. So we've taken those dogs, uh, we're actually just preparing them right now in the hockey rink um, for their journey back down south for adoption. We've had some actually fantastic successes, not only in Whitefish Bay, but also in other communities. Just really that community outreach, letting them know we're there um, and talking about what the future looks like for their communities and how we can provide support. Hi everyone, it's uh, Monday morning, October 1st. We are in day two of our trip here in Whitefish Bay. Uh, today is a big day. We're gonna be doing a lot of uh, educational summits with our uh, with the schools here in Whitefish Bay, uh, talking about uh, you know dog overpopulation, but also responsible pet ownership, getting their, getting their pets spayed and neutered. Yesterday was uh, amazing. We had, uh, we had a great day. We gathered nine dogs, uh, which was fantastic. Uh, but also did a, a tour of the community to kind of see where everything was at. Uh, the community's been amazing, very welcoming, uh, are uh, behind us 100% of what we're doing. Uh, and really, we've got nine incredible dogs inside that uh, are going to find amazing homes as we go forward. My name is Laura Kekue. I'm the band manager for North Kamingwani First Nation. Uh, the biggest benefit is um, the community was much safer. Um, and also at the same time, any animals that weren't cared for were, were taken and adopted out. And then I saw some of those stories and you know what, I have to admit something. Um, last, last time um, you were here, or Ontario SPCA, is that I, I had a dog. I, I had a dog um, and at the time I was by myself in my home and uh, I had given her, I, I had given her up because I felt like I really wasn't caring for her the best I could and, um, and I surrendered her and uh, I noticed uh, in the communication from she was the dog that was in the little um, newspaper article or the communication that went, that went out so um, you know so you just have to think you have to think about the animal uh, when it comes to a pet and not necessarily uh, yourself or putting your own needs first because that's the biggest responsibility there is. As we conclude at the end of this transfer one of the big things that identifies too is the fact that the new build and the need for our new build is so essential. Just seeing what we've seen in this community over the last five days brings to light all of the three pillars of our commitment to our campaign. It is pets, people and Peterborough and it is identifying that an human animal bond and the need for support and I encourage you after seeing some of this footage I encourage you to take part in our in our pet project. It is a fantastic initiative. It is a great opportunity to really bring animal welfare home in Peterborough and drive it into the next generation. So I encourage you to donate Check us out online and uh, let's make a difference in animal welfare for the future.